Hi guys, welcome to our channel Last Resin. For those who are looking for Muffles Resin Glitter, you might want to stop by and check this out. Let me walk you through the materials used in this video first. We'll need a mold with a wide open entrance so that it would be easy for us to brush the pigment powder on. I use Last Resin Frog Mold, a small amount of resin and measuring cups, and then different sizes of brush, stirring stick opaque resin dye, holographic glitter, and this set of glitter are our main character. Stick the powder with a brush and slowly brush on the mold. Try to rotate the mold instead of moving the brush so that it can evenly brush on every corner. Then change another color to make the finished frog become more dimensional. When brushing the hind legs, you can change back to purple and add a little golden yellow to the bent part of the legs to enrich the color of the finished project. Finally, we change to an orchid color to modify the hands and feet of the frog. The hands and feet are relatively small, so we may need a smaller pen brush. And finally finished, this is indeed a lot of detailed work to do, but you are gonna love it. Wait for it. Next comes to the epoxy resin mixing. We use our own less resin bubble free epoxy resin to ensure that the air bubbles will not destroy the small pieces of the finished object. Epoxy resin is mixed in a 1 to 1 ratio by volume. It is more convenient to use a measuring cup. Just pour the same amount of resin to each cup, slowly stir to prevent air bubbles. Black is the best base color for dreamy glitter effects. So we add some black opaque resin dye to the resin to pour it slowly into the mold. You can use stick tools to drive the resin to a small corners like toes so that this part can be filled properly. Wait for 12 hours then you can start to demold. Now before demolding, in order to prevent the mold from being torn apart, we'd better pull the limbs of the mold first, and then start to demold from the back. The finished project is shimmery beyond imagination. I got this idea from Naptime Creations holographic resin skulls video. To make it more like a frog, I used acrylic paint to draw its eyes. Because its back is green, so I used green for the white part of the eyes. Then use black for the dark circles under the eyes, and just draw it casually. Before painting yellow eyeballs, paint a layer of white first, so that the eyeballs will appear brighter and more vivid. Use black to paint the pupils and white to highlight. The frog's eyes are ready. Generally, frogs will have some dots on their body, so we can draw some irregular dots using black acrylic paint. Draw some irregular black dots on the limbs. It is better to have different sizes and shapes. You can draw two black dots on a large area at the tail, which will make the stripes on the frog look more harmonious instead of being spotty all the way. A little chick frog is ready. Thanks for watching and let me know what you want to see us make in next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.